The Sarasota Police Department says the city is in crisis. First responders are facing a deadly spike in heroin cases, and they're pleading for help from the public. It's an update to a story that we first reported on Monday. And News Channel 8's John Rogers, he joins us now live from Sarasota. And this epidemic is just getting worse. It certainly is, Stacey. In fact, literally right before the press conference this morning, they had to give us updated numbers because another person overdosed uh, last night. It started slowly. It started when I was young. John Wayne Thompson um, spent 20 bit. years always and seeking the best old. way to get high. It started with pot until eventually he was hooked on heroin. In my addiction, nothing really matters, you know? It um, cost him everything, including his wife and son, who left him three months ago. Now he's seeking treatment, but John is one of the lucky ones. This is one of the most serious things that, is, that we're facing in our community since I've been a police officer. Sarasota is seeing a heroin epidemic. Since July, 44 people have overdosed and eight have died. And they're finding more cases of the drugs laced with carfentanil, an elephant tranquilizer. If you do this drug, you are going to die. The crisis is overwhelming first responders, crowding emergency rooms, and filling up local foster homes since many addicts are parents. Please, if you're not involved in this conversation, get involved in this conversation because the police department can't do it alone. Thompson says his fellow addicts are not monsters. They're just sick. But he doesn't understand why dealers are selling carfentanil. It's very surprising. Why would you kill your customers? Even from that side of it, it doesn't make sense. They're obviously not thinking. They don't care. They don't care, right. Thompson is out to prove there is a way out from a life of heroin. But the community needs to step up and join the fight. And get this, recently uh, officials cracked down on a drug dealer who had 88 bags of suspected heroin on him, 88 little mini baggies. But when they uh, analyzed each individual bag, turns out there was no heroin in it at all. Each one contained carfentanil, that elephant tranquilizer. So this threat is real. It's killing people. And if you know someone who's stuck in this uh, addiction, please get them help. Serious Back stuff. All right. Thank you, John.